An adult male, age 65, with a large piece of shrapnel in his right thigh. Femoral artery damage with profuse bleeding 10 minutes out. Look, I want you to travel with him to the hospital. Right. Keep him stable. Copy that, Cap. Hey, you got to learn how to play nice. It's one team, Buck. Hey, Nash, am I going to be all right? My boys have got you. But you might want to consider switching to collecting baseball cards after this. I guess you've seen a lot of shrapnel wounds. My share? Ever seen a guy with the length of rebar stuck through his skull? What are we measuring here, Buck? Oh. You need to change those dressings. They're soaking through. Hang in there, Charlie. Almost there. I'm just saying, working in the streets of LA is not exactly stress free. It may not be the same kind of pressure you have in the war zone, but. Oh, come on. Hold on. I thought you said this was a practice round. It is. Uh, what, what, what's going on? We'll see the cap. Practice rounds, blue caps. Gold caps are live. Roll over! Yep, there she is. He's got a live round embedded in his thigh. I, I thought this thing already went off. The launch grenade has two components, gunpowder, which makes it travel, and explosive charge makes it go boom. OK, so why didn't this one go boom? It's fitted with a proximity fuse. It's a little smart sensor that tells the cap it's traveled a safe enough distance from the shooter to explode. From his hand to his leg probably wasn't far enough. Well, we can't bring him inside a hospital full of people. No, with that still stuck inside him. We called the military for help. <laughs> the military? Yeah. Can't you do it? You're the bomb squad. You can't defuse a grenade. We need to find someone who knows how to pull that thing out of him without sending it off. They're sending someone up from Pendleton. It should be here within the hour. He doesn't have an hour. I can do it. If he doesn't go to surgery soon, he'll die. You've done this before? Well, none of the guys I served with were dumb enough to shoot a live round in themselves, but I'm familiar with the ordinance. I'm in. Get that thing out of him, put it in here, and get the hell away from it. Let us deal with it. Copy that. See you inside. All right, listen, Buck, you don't have to do this. You think I'm going to let the new guy have all the fun? Besides, you wanted us to bond. We might end up real close.